Hello and welcome to part 11 of the Save Sci-Fi Let's Play of Star Trek Legacy. Um, not exactly sure what to expect in this level, but... Captain's Log, Stardate 10372.6 While on a survey mission to Galondon Core, we've received word from a Federation listening post along the neutral zone that a disturbance has been detected involving several Romulan ships and an older Vulcan vessel. The Romulans appear to be engaged in battle, Captain. Full sensor scan. I want to know what's happening over there. My lord, what kind of a mess is the Romulans creating now? That planet has just been liquefied to molten rock. Its core is destabilizing. Brace for the shockwave. Raise shields. Vigo, raise the shields. Done. But we've been hit badly. Major damage to the outer hull. The captain. Captain Ruhalter is down. Medical team to the bridge. Emergency. What are we going to do, John Luke? I'm taking command. Bring us about. Full impulse, get us some distance. Open a channel to that ship. Channel open. Attention, unidentified vessel. I am Captain Picard of the Federation ship Stargazer. You are entering Federation territory. Return at once to Romulan space. No response, John Luke. They've altered course. They're bypassing our position and heading deeper into Federation space. Good. We're in no real condition to fight anyway. We need to reach Starbase 61. Tax the engines as hard as you have to, but we must get there quickly. Will do, Captain. Do we still have sensors, Vigo? Barely. The sensor pallets are still there, but there's hardly any power left. Oh, that's not it's good. the planet. The core has completely collapsed. What about stellar debris? Give me a bearing. Computing that now. A large portion of the stellar debris will pass through the Fidian star system. Best possible speed to Starbase 61. Open a channel to them. We're going to need more ships. Acting Captain's Log, Supplemental. Captain Ruhalter is dead. After reaching Starbase 61, we discovered only three other Federation starships are present in the system. We have very few resources to aid us in this catastrophe, but we'll have to make whatever we do have count twice over. We cannot allow any of those massive fragments to strike the planets in this system. If they do, millions of lives could be lost, and the planets rendered uninhabitable for decades. The sensor arrays in the system will be able to alert us as to the speed and course of the fragments as they enter range. Let's use this time to reduce the amount of debris entering the area of the planets and the starbase. Stargazer out. Stargazer reporting. Proceed to war. Setting course. Come on, weapons range. Diverting power to weapons, Captain. Why can't I just target things by default? Why do you have to make me flick through the fucking hundred other bloody... Ugh. Setting course now.
Finally, the one I'm actually after. How about targeting the one I'm fucking looking at? happened. Um, hello? Diverting power to weapons, I don't know what just happened. Tech position. Stargazer, this is Starbase sixty one. We've been monitoring the situation. The debris entering the system is steadily increasing, but I believe we can be of some assistance. We've been able to modify our defensive platforms, increasing their range and power. You can use your tractor beams to tow them to the locations I've indicated. I believe they could provide significant support for destroying the incoming debris. Laser's locked on target, sir. Need everything you have. Warp speed. Warp speed. 
both of it at the moment. Sir, we're dropping out of warp. Course set, Captain. Engaging tractor beam. Course set, Captain. Excelsior to fleet. We're in position. Excelsior, standing by. Targeting the rock that I'd like to target would be fucking brilliant! Thank you! the bird right on you. Control's not responding. Diverting power to engines, Captain. Not possible, Captain. Engage the power. Shut up, bud! Engaging tractor beam. Course laid in. I apologize for the noisy bird. He's being a pain in the ass today. Setting course now. <sighs> Today's been a bit stressful if you haven't noticed me yelling a little Excelsior bit more than normal. Crap, 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 crap. Type the actual threat, please. Be more of the bird than you can in me. A little faster. Stargazer 
Shooting would be nice. Well on your way, Picard. Failed me again. Excelsior, standing by. Lock photons. Uh, turn, damn it. now. Course laid in. Oh, this is actually shooting as I buzz along. That's pretty cool. Didn't know it did, it did that. Setting course now. Course set, Captain. Excelsior, standing by. Lakota, standing by. Looks like we got another glitch bro. Stargaze at all ships. We've detected a massive piece of stellar matter on a collision course with Fidian 3. Its sheer mass and velocity make it unlikely we'll be able to destroy it using our phasers or torpedoes. 
But we may be able to use the mass of the other fragments to inflict more damage by impacting some of the smaller debris into the larger ones. Transferred auxiliary power to your tractor beam systems. We'll need all the power we can get. Warping to your coordinates. Philadelphia, standing by. Stargazer reporting. Lakota, standing by. In phaser range, Captain. En route. Excellent. We should be able to set this fragment on a collision course with the large stellar debris to break it up. Setting course now. Standing by. <coughs> Phasers ready, Captain. I want to destroy it when in the crowd. I want to put them capture it with my Manually fly these damn things in. In position. Photon torpedoes ready. Philadelphia, standing by. Excelsior, standing by. Stand by. Fire phasers. Engage track. Closer. We fragmented the largest piece, but the resulting stellar debris is still on course for Fidian 3. Continue targeting the remaining pieces. It's imperative that we destroy them before they can hit the planet. Excelsior, standing by. Lakota, standing by. Philadelphia, standing by. Engaging target. Engaging target. Engaging one. Divert power to weapons, Captain. efforts have paid off today. All of the stellar fragments have been destroyed. We've managed to avert a disaster, and you all have done splendid work here. Well done.
Captain's log, stardate 10374.8. This is my first entry as the captain of a starship, though I wish my command bars hadn't come with such a high cost. With the loss of Captain Ruhalter and several of my crewmates, I grieve for us all. However, they died holding up the highest traditions of Starfleet, proudly doing their best to rise to a challenge and overcome great odds. Our friends and comrades will be missed. I will endeavor to be a captain worthy of such a fine crew and such a fine ship. I do regret that Starfleet has been unable to determine the whereabouts of the vessel which brought the Romulans to our doorstep. But perhaps in time, We'll be able to piece together what really happened here today in an effort to give it meaning. Nah, that's the end of that part. I shall catch you in the next one.